Welcome, Hurricane fans, to uh, for the first live edition of Hurricane Club Insider. My name is Jesse Marks. I'm the Senior Associate Athletic Director for Development. We are here live on the site of the Carroll Football Indoor Practice Facility. It's going up quick behind us. Today we have two special guests here. Uh, I first want to introduce Jose Garcia Tunion with Lamar Tech Construction. He is the Chief Operating Officer, and he's going to talk about the progress of this site and a little bit about of what Lamar Tech does. Jose. Thank you. So uh, Lamar Tech is a national general construction and construction management firm and we have a unique expertise on steel structures which is what you see here and uh, we've been in business for 39 years founded here in Miami. This is where our headquarters are so basically this is our community so we're very proud to have been selected and very honored to be able to build this facility for the university and for the community itself. The, the, the project itself right now, we are uh, in the process, we've done all the underground uh, utilities, we're working on electrical, plumbing, mechanical, we have poured 3,000 cubic yards of concrete and uh, we have about another 1,800 cubic yards to go. As you can see, we are uh, erecting the, the installation of the metal building, the roof is actually going up, we're going to have a thousand two. 1,200 tons of steel by the time we are done here in the in the in the project. One of the one of the things that uh, that this project has that it is unique is that you need the steel structure to be able to get the the spans 300 foot clear span for the practice facility, and it has to be in steel, which is what we do, and it is the first metal building structure like this in the city of Coral Gables. So this is this is a special building. Jose, would you mind giving us a, a unique fact about uh, the, the the building that the, that the public may not know, whether it's uh, uh, environmentally certified, uh, uh, the, the, the AC, the power that's going to be required to, to, to operate this building, the roof? So we're going to uh, uh, design, it's been designed to uh, lead, green lead, and we're looking for a certification of uh, silver uh, lead. And uh, the project itself is uh, we have insulated roof panels on the, uh, which are going up right now. The, uh, at the end, you're going to have uh, 82,000 square feet of facility and uh, 10,000 square feet of new offices for coaches, for uh, uh, film rooms, uh, meeting rooms. So at the end, it's going to be, uh, and, I, and when we, that's done and the coaches move to the new facility, then the other facilities will be refurbished the old offices, so overall it's going to be a great, great, great looking facility. Um, as far as uh, the, 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 we have a schedule that it's very tight, so so we have a, a expedited uh, a schedule here, and we are, by the end of June, by the end of June, we're going to have this building completely enclosed, and by the end of July, we're going to have the main practice field ready, so that Coach Rick can start his uh, practiced indoors um, on August 1st. So at the end it's 82,000 square feet of full air conditioned um, uh, artificial turf facilities and, uh, and obviously something that I know uh, Coach is really excited about. Jose, thank you very much. Thank I you. appreciate everything Lamar Tech's doing. Uh, you heard it here first. The, the, the building will be ready to go for Coach Rick uh, for this football season coming up. Uh, we have raised over $32 million, close to $33 million for this facility, over 160 major commitments, and over 600 crowdfunder gifts through Give2IPF, Give2IPF.com. There's still time to donate. We need your support to make this building the best it can be in the nation. Coach Rick is uh, giving people some hand-selected gifts uh, if they make gifts uh, on that website. So uh, you have some time to do that. Please go ahead. We need everybody's support. Uh, it's my pleasure to bring in Coach Rick now to t talk about the vision of this building and, and how it's going to help our football program. Coach. Yeah, we're very, very excited. I get, I get a chance, I don't know if you can see right, well, right across there is where my current office is, okay? So I got the big windows, and I can look out and see what's happening on a daily basis. And at one time, they were going to board those up, but they realized that the windows were hurricane-proof and all that, so we were excited. The other thing about hurricanes, I know we, we are the hurricanes, but from what I understand, there could be a category whatever hurricane going on, and we could actually be practicing during the hurricane. That's how sound this building is going to be. Obviously, we won't do that, but it may end up being a shelter 
one day for uh, people uh, during a hurricane because it is going to be such a solid building. And uh, it's, it's awesome. You can tell, I don't know if you can see right there, the peak of the roof line will be the middle of the long field. We're, we're kind of standing looking at what the, where the long field will be. It'll be about 90 to 95 yards with good safety margins. We want space from the sideline uh, to, uh, to the walls to be as much room as possible. Uh, we're looking at about 20 feet, 21 feet, almost seven yards, which is more than most any building I've ever been in. Uh, not many people have that large of a safety margin. Uh, but then on the side here, we're gonna be able to have our offensive defensive linemen do drill work. So they can do all their drill work off to the side and then this long field will be for all of our uh, skill guys that do everything they need to do, the throwing, the catching, and all that kind of stuff. And then when we ever do our teamwork together, obviously we can all be on this long field here. And uh, the good news too is outside of this building, which you can't see over the fence, but we're gonna have our two uh, grass football fields, practice football fields available. And the beauty of that is we'll have our, we might be in the middle of a practice and the horn blows says, hey, lightning's coming. And it's more lightning than rain why we got to get out get out from under the uh, elements. But there'll be doors that'll roll up. We'll be able to run right on the practice field, the indoor practice field, and continue practice without changing cleats, without really missing a beat. And uh, it's really exciting. All the video uh, perches will be set up here. There'll be some remote cameras in here to video everything we do. Uh, there'll be a lot of other reasons to use, use this place for uh, recruiting events and uh, really my guess is the whole entire athletic department will use this building from time to time to, to put on events as well and uh, it's going to be as bright and as beautiful as anybody's in America. We learned a lot from other people that have built them years ago as far as just keeping it safe, as far as um, uh, just even how you set your goal post up, or uh, this just the entire thing. There's there's other people that are like, hey, if I had to do it again, I'd do this or I would do that. And uh, so we've got a tremendous facility. It'll be as, it'll be as uh, beautiful as anybody's in America. It'll be as functional as anyone's in America. And uh, to have it connected to our locker room is huge. Some people got to walk, you know, a quarter of a mile or something to their, or even bus to their indoor facility. We'll walk right out of our building into the indoor without having to worry about uh, being outside. So there's so many things uh, that this thing's going to do for us, but we're just thankful for everybody who's helped us so far. Coach, we're going to walk on through and get a close-up look of some okay. of the, uh, the height and size of this building. Yes. Well, Where's Sebastian? So our construction manager, Sebastian. Very fitting. <laughs> so are we live still? We're still live. Okay. <laughs> You can see they're starting to put the panels. I don't know if you can see that or not. One thing we learned about lighting is a lot of people would have the lighting, all the lighting shining down. And you get these big lamps. And then what happens is if you punt the ball and hit a lamp and you break the lamp, you got problems. You can't practice for a week to clean up the mess, okay? And uh, so what we're doing is we're gonna have a more up lighting. We'll have natural lighting. There'll be some windows all the way around, you see some spaces that don't have, don't have the steel in the middle there. And so we'll have a lot of uh, outdoor lighting, natural lighting, but we'll also shine most of our lights up to shine on the on the white roof or the white ceiling, which will which will light the building without the receivers having to look up and see this bright light shining in their face. And also we won't have to worry too much about knocking out lights and having to worry about, you know, cutting off practice because of an accident like that. So those are just some of the little things we learned along the way. And um, the other thing is if you look through there and you see the windows up top, and you might see just past this big orange crane that those, those the glass there, well, that's, that's the level of the coaches' offices that are going to be built out over the top of the uh, spot where the offensive and defensive linemen work work out and the beauty of that is they're going to be suspended from this from the uh from these rafters here or these beams here instead of having support underneath the support will hold them from the top meaning there'll be nothing to run into 
and it won't it won't slow down any of the work that we got to have from the uh, the skill guys and the offensive defensive linemen for that matter. So just one more thing that really is going to make it awesome. We're going to we'll mostly compete back there coming in this direction because if let's you can imagine a receiver running a route down the right sideline here. It's going to open up into this area where the offensive and defensive linemen are, so there'll be absolutely nothing there that anybody could possibly run into. So we, it's just a unique situation. Most fields are just an indoor 120-yard uh, field, and and then so when you're practicing, you got to get all your linemen somewhere. So they're usually taking an end zone and maybe 10 or 20 yards. So they're taking about 30 yards. You got about 90 yards left over for your skill guys, but they're still kind of in your in the line of fire. Now we can get all of our drill work done on the side, and then uh, with the linemen, and then have all the space cleared for our skill players, and it's it's going to be perfect for us. I guess there's one more thing to mention, and I don't know if we're going to walk over there or not, but just on that building straight across is the weight room. And so we'll be able to access from the weight room into the indoor as well. So that's going to help Gus Felder and our strength staff to, there's certain things that you do in strength and conditioning that you can't do in a weight room that you have to go outside to do. Now, no matter what the weather is, we'll be able to go directly from the weight room into the indoor facility and do all of our agility drills, all of our plyometric stuff, box jumps, our sprints and change of direction drills, kids that have injuries. Uh, our uh, Denny Scavel, our uh, head, head athletic trainer, can take these kids out here no matter what the weather is and not miss a beat. So, you know, in the past, we'd have to, if the horn blew for lightning, we'd have to go inside, put tennis shoes on, walk to the wellness center, go into the gymnasium, and then by the time you get to the gym, they might say all clear, and then you got to go back in there, put your, tennis, put your cleats on, and run back out there. The beauty of this is we'll now have to change our cleats and if we do get an all clear sign once we're inside, all we got to do is go right back out and get back to work. So it's it's going to be awesome for us. Coach, thank you very much for your time. Uh, on behalf of Coach Rick, our entire football program, we thank all of our supporters uh, for, for donating to uh, the Carol Sofer Football Indoor Practice Facility. Thank you to Carol Sofer as well yes. and the Sofer family for making this uh, lead gift. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> and very, the Sofer family. Very much possible. It couldn't have happened without them. Uh, I ask everybody to please make a gift to give2ipf.com. It's a crowd funder. There's good benefits and uh, gifts for you guys out there. Um, in fact, any, we're going to do a raffle at the end of this weekend. Anybody who makes a gift uh, this weekend, we're going we're gonna to randomly generate to win one of these uh, custom Miami Hurricane football helmet construction hats. Uh, go to give2ipf.com right now make your gift thank you everybody for your support thank you lamar tech for being such great partners uh, in this endeavor for the university and go canes <laughs>